Finally, we're back. We are back. Yeah, and we're getting more pumped up today. Uh, we're going to go over another pump. Um, this is my favorite onboard bike pump. Again, a mountain specific pump, really important, uh, especially if you're out on the trail and you get a flat. Last thing you want to be doing is messing around with some old piece of junk pump that you've had for forever or something that's meant for road bikes. Uh, it's not going to do you any good. So just as we talked about with the Joe Polo uh, mountain floor pump, um, the uh, race rocket from Toe Peak has an oversized barrel on it. Um, it fills on the push and the pull. Um, and then this unit actually has a smart valve on it. Um, so the race rocket, super handy. Very compact size. Go ahead and pick up the race rocket. So you can see by Riley's hand, it's about the size of his hand. Can fit in the back of your jersey pocket if needed. Um, really good. Comes with a bottle mount on it. Um, and then the cool part, go ahead and show them the top of that and pull out the hose. So this is really what makes this my favorite. Um, you know, I like the Mountain DA from Toe Peak. It's also got that oversized volume or that oversized chamber. But the really cool thing about this race rocket is that flexible hose that comes out. So as a mountain biker, that's going to be really key to you. Um, chances are when you get a flat out on the trail, it's not going to be the best circumstances. Um, so you're going to be hot. You're going to be a little frustrated. You're going to be in a hurry. Maybe the rest of your crew has taken off ahead of you or is waiting for you. Um, so having that flexible hose on there is going to allow you to actually connect to the bike. It's got a smart head. So you don't even think about it. Just screws right on. Super secure. Um, and the nice thing is when you go to start pumping, you don't have to worry about where that, that hose is. Um, so Riley, why don't you go ahead and give us a little pump um, on that. So Riley's going to go ahead. We've got a flat tire here. Riley's let all the air out of it. Just, so, just for proof. Yep, so. yep, it is definitely flat. Mm -hmm. um, so Riley's going to pump that up first. We're going to give the count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Let's see where it's at. Keep going. Let's keep going. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 43. 6, 47, 48, 49, 50. All right, that's it. <laughs> so, um, this is a 29 inch tire, 2.5 inches wide. Um, took about 50 pumps from flat to get that filled up. So, and Riley was going really slow, so I could keep count with him. I appreciate that. But if you're on the trail, you're going to be doing it faster. And that's where that, that flexible hose really comes in. You can imagine if you've got something, you know, most of your bike pumps are just going to lock right onto that valve stem and then you got to hold it right there and try to juice that thing it is a big old pain in the butt whereas riley you could see his hands kind of moving around as he was pumping especially as you get some speed going that's going to happen a lot if you don't have that flexible hose on there and you move your pump around while it's connected you're going to bend your valve stem we see bent valve stems all the time just makes a big pain in the butt it'll still work but um, do yourself a favor and do that. What are your thoughts on the race rocket pump? What do you like about it? Why would you like that better than some other pump that's on the market? Yeah, so I love this one because not only is it going to be a compact pump, it's also going to have a bigger barrel so it can pump it up faster. Also, the smart valve makes it easier between Presta and Schrader. And mostly this flexible hose, which is really nice because I can pump it here, I can pump it there, I can pump it really anywhere. A lot of the other ones you have to be very specific in a certain spot and pump and not move it and it's a lot stressful when this one you can move everywhere yeah. makes it a lot more easy get back with the group do we get a price tag on or a price on that box here let's see 52 dollars. 52 bucks so it is a pricey pump but again when you need to pull out your pump it's going to be at a time where you're a little bit frustrated maybe you're in a hurry with the guys so you know, even the cheapest pump you're going to find is still going to be 25 bucks. Yeah, it's double, but the, having that flexible hose, having that oversized barrel, having that smart head on there, those are all things that are going to be really big for you um, and really be money well spent. Plus, these pumps are going to last for forever. Topi does a great job with their stuff. Um, we absolutely love their pumps. I try to carry them almost exclusively. So really cool with that. 
Um, super big fan of it. Now, the only thing this pump does lack um, is it does not have a gauge to let you know tire pressure. Um, so again, these on bike pumps, you can get them with gauges. Most of them aren't going to have it because they're kind of meant to be more of an emergency type situation. So the objective here, um, if you're running too bliss, that we can just plug that tire real fast, throw the pump on, pump it back up and get rolling again. Then when you get home or when you get back to your vehicle, you can dial in that. Um, but we just want to get you back on the trail so you're not walking. Uh, Toby does make some hand pumps or some on bike pumps. Um, like the Mountain DA um, comes with a gauge. Um, they've got a, a few others that come with gauges, but they get a lot bulkier at that point. So again, um, you're kind of sacrificing, you know, something that maybe you don't exactly need. Out, you should have a floor pump at home to get your tire pressure set normal. We're just trying to get you off the trail. So I like to go with a little bit more minimalist on bike pump, um, you know, just to kind of keep my leg from hitting it, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, check that guy out. It's really nice. Uh, Riley, anything else that you feel the folks We're only at six and a half minutes. So anything else people need to know from a teenage boy about the, <laughs> the hand pump action? Yeah. So like you were should saying, be a pro at this. There's no better person to ask. Than <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So especially for, um, me who does Enduro and stuff like that. When you are off the trail, you could be racing too. Mm -hmm. You could be racing any type of race. And you fall off the trail, you're not going to want to go with your old pump, get all lined up and, oh, no. And then look at that. You're already losing. You lose. You don't get the cash prize. No you lose. Prize. Right here, this is fast, easy. This is going to be a longer pump, so you get a lot more airflow in, plus it's going to be a bigger barrel. It's just going to make it a lot more easy, push a lot more air through there, get that tire pumped up faster and better. That's going to be a lot more beneficial than just going crazy with some old cheap one that you throw on your bike. Plus, with these nicer ones, they're going to be more mounted on your bike better than just some cheap one that you just throw on there. These ones are going to stay on your bike, and they're going to last a long time. So I definitely recommend these. Yeah, the Race Rocket also has that nice little dust cap. So um, go ahead and take that one back off of that tire now that we're yeah. done with it. Charlie's just going to unscrew that off of there. It's holding on very securely. Um, and then keep it by the camera when you put the hose in. Yeah. So down, put that back down. down. There you go. Screw that in. So that's going to screw in. Put the cap on. Boom. Got your dust cap on top. Good to go. So really nice, super secure. You don't ever have to worry about losing anything. It's all going to be there again. It gets a race rocket name because of a, that oversized chamber to help fill you up fast. And then that flexible hose is really the kind of big deal there. Um, it allows you to be a little bit more wild as you're, you know, frantically pumping air in to turn out <laughs> to lose spots. Um, you can do so and that pump can move around without having to worry about breaking something and, you know, not allowing. Because if you snap your your uh, your Presta valve off, then done know, for. If the core's done. Um, then yeah, you can't fill up that tire. So also really cool. Grab you a Toe Peak Race Rocket, any of Toe Peak's mountain stuff. If you're going to be riding mountain bikes, buy gear that's made for mountain bikes. Don't buy stuff that's made for road bikes. It's just going to be more hassle for you. You're a mountain biker. You deserve mountain bike things. Do that. It's great. Yep. So plenty of air. Riley, is that your favorite on bike pump? That's my favorite. And there is one more thing that we haven't talked about. Oh, the uh, valve Ooh, yeah. on the bottom of it. So not only going to have this really nice pump, you can also remove the valve because maybe you need a cedar tubeless tire. You can take out the valve core, pump that thing, seat it, and all good to go. Yeah, it is really great. So you can use that valve core remover when you roll up on uh, your buddy on the trail who just stuck his regular bike frame pump on there that was static without the hose. He bent his darn valve core. Now we can't even get the valve core out. Fortunately, Smiley comes along. He's got the valve core remover. He's going to pull that out. He's then going to hook up his hose. He's going to pump, pump that, that dude's dude tire up. up. We're going to straighten out the valve core. And uh, then uh, his buddy's going to be ready to ride again. You don't have to wait for him anymore. So, um, right. um, you know, and that's the other thing, too. I mean, you know, part is being prepared and making sure you're having a good time. But if you do ride with other folks, if you have something like this on your bike, they get a flat 
they're digging through their bag to pull out their crappy old pump that's been in there for forever. You say, hey, hold on, I got you. You give them this, you make their day a billion times better. Then you send them to the mountain bike shed, tell them to go and get one from me. That's it, guys.